Chicago's founder, Elizabeth Holmes, has been sentenced to 11 years in federal lockup. She was convicted of defrauding investors in her failed blood testing company. News cameras surrounded Holmes as she walked into her sentencing hearing in San Francisco today. Holmes was facing a possible 20-year sentence. Her defense was asking for 18 months. Holmes, who raised $945 million for Theranos and promised that the startup would revolutionize health care with tests that would require just a few drops of blood, was convicted in January of four counts of wire fraud for deceiving investors with claims which turned out to be false. Author and former Wall Street Journal reporter John Carreyou broke the Theranos story. He had this reaction to the sentencing. It's a stiff sentence. Uh, that said, you know, this was a brazen fraud, and um, it was a case where not only were investors defrauded, but patients were put in harm's way. And um, I think that that's the most outrageous part of this whole story. Holmes will be required to surrender April 27th of next year, allowing her to give birth and bond with her newborn child. Disgraced Theranos CEO Elizabeth Holmes has been sentenced to 11 years and three months in prison. Holmes was convicted back in January of defrauding investors in her failed blood testing startup company. Today's sentence was shorter than the 15 years requested by federal prosecutors. Holmes lawyers sought a much more lenient sentence since their client is pregnant and also the mother of a one-year-old son. She is expected to appeal. The federal courthouse today disgraced Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes was sentenced to 135 months, more than 11 years, in prison for defrauding investors in her blood testing company. It was despite more than 130 personal letters sent to the judge in support of her. Here's ABC7 News reporter Amanda Del Castillo with more on what's next for Holmes and the tech industry. Once the face of promise and potential, Elizabeth Holmes was sentenced Friday to 11 years and three months in prison. Not the max, but far from the minimum. Holmes was convicted in January on four counts of defrauding investors while running her failed blood testing startup, Theranos. Legal analyst Stephen Clark on Friday's developments. The only good thing that happened for Ms. Holmes today in this case was that she left the courtroom not in handcuffs. Following her sentencing, witnesses report seeing Holmes running from court hand in hand with her partner Billy Evans. Dr. Don Hyder, executive director of the Markula Center for Applied Ethics at Santa Clara University, says the judge's sentence sends a clear message to Silicon Valley. You can craft the best pitch for your product, but it better be True. In this case, I think uh, she is going to suffer the consequences of many bad decisions. Holmes' sentence includes three years of supervision following her eventual release from prison. Restitution has not yet been decided, but prosecutors wanted Holmes to pay $804 million, money that would cover most of the nearly $1 billion raised from investors. I think investors would like to believe this is a one-off and can never happen again, and yet, Here's a pattern, right? Hyder referencing another young tech former billionaire icon now under investigation. In court Friday, a pregnant Holmes took the stand in tears after hearing testimony. Courtroom sketches depict the moment she described taking full responsibility for the company's failures. I think the court took into consideration Ms. Holmes' pregnancy, not so much in the sentencing, but in the fact he allowed her to stay out to have her child and gave her some time to bond with this child. Holmes must surrender to custody on April 27th, 2023, she is expected to appeal. Her conviction ultimately was about the investor, but there were also all the employees, many of whom really weren't in a position to know that Theranos was a fraud. Where's the justice for them in this? In San Jose, I'm Amanda Del Castillo, ABC 7 News. Good evening, I'm Raj Mathai. The rise and fall of Elizabeth Holmes. She will be now heading to prison after she gives birth to her second child. The disgraced founder of Theranos was sentenced today to 11 years in prison. She was in tears and apologized to the court, but it didn't sway the federal judge in San Jose. Here's NBC Bay Area's Tom Jensen. Holmes is expected to appeal today's sentence, but this is one of the final chapters in this Theranos legal saga, and for many, a lesson about what to avoid as investors and how to make sure this doesn't happen again. 
Holmes, who was found guilty of four charges of investor fraud, met a crush of cameras on her way into the courtroom this morning. During today's hearing, Holmes got emotional as she addressed the court. Our business and tech reporter Scott Budman was inside for it all. She got up there in tears, uh, faced the judge, and said, I'm sorry. I realize I made mistakes. There are many, many things I'd do over again. She made sure to apologize to her investors, to her family members, to her employees. After hours of back and forth between her attorneys and prosecutors and a statement from Holmes herself, the judge sentenced her to 11 years and three months in prison. She has until April 27th to report. However, expect her to appeal. Also taken into consideration how her pregnancy will impact it all. She's a young mother and that she's ex expecting her second child played into um, the judge's compassion, if you will. Judges are human beings too, but the, the time limits are, were really kind of baked into this process um, and, and the fact is no matter what happened, she was just going to get enough time between sentencing and the imposition of sentence um, to, to have her second child and to uh, raise in part her, her first child. Back in the courtroom, we also heard an emotional speech from Alex Schultz. He's the father of former Theranos employee and whistleblower Tyler Schultz and the son of former Theranos board member, the late George Schultz. He faced Holmes directly and blamed her for her policies and the rift her company caused in his family. We have to afford more protection for whistleblowers and also uh, a safe outlet where they can go and be heard, especially for a medical device um, that could really threaten people's lives. The Markle Center for Applied Ethics at Santa Clara University has been studying the Theranos case closely. The center's executive director says investors should learn from the Theranos scheme, too. Don't invest with somebody who's, you know, just persuasive and attractive and has a good spiel. Actually do the due diligence and make sure what they're trying to sell you works and there's some kind of proof that it works. We reached out to Holmes and her lead attorney about that appeal, but they did not respond. In San Jose, Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News. Tom, thank you. Now, Holmes is just part of this story. What happens now to her business partner and ex-boyfriend, Sonny Bolwani? In July, he was also convicted of fraud. Bolwani was the president and COO of Theranos. Holmes said Bolwani lied to her about the company's financial models and abused her which she denies. And unlike Holmes, who spent seven days on the witness stand during her trial, Balwani did not testify in his own defense. Balwani's sentencing is December 7th. We spoke today also with John Carreyou. He's the author of the book called Bad Blood. That's what exposed the story about Theranos and its problems back in 2015. Scott Budman was there and asked him what he thought of the sentence today. It's a stiff sentence uh, that said, you know, this was a brazen fraud and um, it was a case where not only were investors defrauded, but patients were put in harm's way. And um, I think that that's the most outrageous part of this whole story, even if she wasn't found uh, technically guilty on the, the patient fraud count counts. Uh, I think the uh, uh, the impact on patients and the, and the way uh, her, the way her actions and Sonny Balwani's actions jeopardized the public health were a huge part of this. And Cameras were not inside, allowed inside this federal courtroom, but Scott Budman was there inside and was live tweeting during the proceedings. Give him a follow for updates on the Theranos cases, including Balwani's sentencing in the next few weeks. His handle, at Scott Budman. Area starting with 11 years in lockup. That is the fate of Elizabeth Holmes after her sentencing on fraud charges today. Len Ramirez was in the courtroom in San Jose when the disgraced Theranos founder learned she'll be going to prison. Elizabeth Holmes stood up in front of Judge Edward Davila moments before he imposed the punishment for her conviction for swindling investors in the Theranos fraud case. Red-faced and teary-eyed, Holmes told the court she has, quote, deep pain for what people went through because I failed them. To each of them, I am so, so sorry. I gave everything I had to save the company, end quote. But that wasn't much of an apology, according to John Carreyrou, the Wall Street Journal reporter who exposed Theranos and led to Holmes' downfall. She didn't acknowledge uh, any wrongdoing. She didn't apologize to patients. She didn't apologize to investors. She said she let people down, but only in the sense that uh, the company failed and so the way she framed it is she failed as an entrepreneur and she had big regrets about that but that's not the same as acknowledging wrongdoing acknowledging that you committed fraud and saying you're sorry 
Holmes was convicted last January on three counts of wire fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud for misleading investors along with her partner, Sonny Balwani, who was convicted on 12 counts. Holmes did not go immediately into custody. She will have to self-surrender and begin serving her sentence on April 27th. In San Jose, Len Ramitas, KPIX 5. Now, the judge asked if it was the intoxication of fame that led Holmes to lie to investors. He said, quote, failure is normal, but failure by fraud is not okay. So here's what's next in the Theranos saga. Holmes will more than likely try to appeal her conviction. And Holmes' former business partner, Sonny Balwani, who was convicted of 12 counts of fraud, is set to be sentenced on December 7th. Senior, we begin in San Jose, where Elizabeth Holmes, the founder of failed blood testing startup Theranos, is now waiting to see how much time she will spend in prison. Holmes is inside a San Jose federal courtroom right now awaiting that sentencing. Her defense team and prosecutors are going over objections in court. Prosecutors are asking for a 15-year sentence. Her lawyers are requesting 18 months. Court documents indicate that Holmes is pregnant, which could affect the judge's decision. Holmes was convicted of fraud earlier this year. She was talking about things that had already been done or should have been done and presenting them as finished or complete. I think that's another level of lying. Along with a prison term, prosecutors have also asked a judge to order Holmes to pay a fine of $800 million in restitution. Well,